There are three kinds of plots and statistics that you might be asked to look at. The first is a dot plot, which is pretty simple. It just gives a representation of the amount of measured values in certain categories. A slightly more complicated plot is the box plot, which is just how it sounds. It has this box here, with a line down the middle representing the median value. The sides of the box show the lower and upper quartile values. The lines coming off the left and right of the box show the range, with each of them pointing to the maximum and minimum values. The more interesting plot is the scatter plot. This is a graph where different measurements have been plotted all over the place, depending on the x-axis and y-axis values. Say you took measurements of a whole bunch of runners, and on the x-axis you had a scale for the time they took to finish a race, and on the y-axis you had their height. The scatter plot would help to show a trend between the two variables. If the data ends up nicely like this, we can see that taller runners are slower at races. We might try and draw a line through the middle to fit the data, so that we have a rough equation to describe the strange relationship between height and running time. We have to be careful of some things though. Are there any strange outliers? Bits of data all out on their own? How could we explain these? Was someone using a bicycle? A jetpack? Is our data valid? Is it biased? We need to make sure that how we took the measurements is fair, so that the trend revealed isn't distorted in any way. Is it height that actually slows people down? Or did you make them run further? Remember, dot plots show categories of different values. Box plots reveal maximum and minimum, lower and upper quartiles, and the median average. Scatter plots reveal trends. Be careful of bias, validity, and outliers.